Hello from Coleman and Company. In today's video, I'm going to show you what it's like to open up if you have purchased our fast frames. Now we use the Ronse machines here at Coleman and Company and Coldesi. So the fast frames, we have them in two different sizes. We have them in the 19 inch and the 14 inch. I'm going to open with you a 14 inch to see what it's like to open this sucker up and then later to show you how to put it on the machine. So first, you'll need a pair of scissors. To open up your pack and then once you open up your pack there's some components that I want to show you real quick so the first component let's open this here Boop. is your directions <laughs> make sure to read them or read them because they have some tips and tricks that'll help you especially when you're talking about certain positions and frames that you can use and how to use them so this will be a nice little guide for you later on okay and then, as you open this up, the first item you see is this. Now, this is going to be your best friend. This is the frame that makes it all happen. What you're going to do is you're going to unscrew this little center piece here. Okay? And, uh, okay. And this is where you're going to attach all the different frames. Now, this is going to look familiar to you as the hoop ears, right? The where you actually clamp in your hoop onto the arms. So this is going to stay the same, but unlike that, these are pockets are going to fit right in. So let's look at the sizes you've got. This one is excellent for sleeves. It's going to be definitely quite convenient to get into pant legs or if you're trying to put initials on one. Okay, there's one. These other ones are nicely bound together to prevent them from clinking and shipping. This is one of my favorite things because it makes your life so much easier. So many things you can use fast frame for, like you can use fast frames for Christmas stockings, right around the corner, holidays, any pockets. This is a great pocket one, by the way, so you can get down into the pocket. Um, the only thing you have to make sure to have space for is for the undercarriage part where the bobbin case is to make sure it fits over. Otherwise, this is perfect for doing that. Then you've got also a little bit larger, and I'll put these side by side so you can kind of see. Got a little bit slimmer, a little bit larger, a little bit larger, a little bit larger, a rounded option for rounded pockets like duffel bags and stuff like that, and a larger pocket frame. As you can see, that there are fast frames really to fit inside any pocket or sleeve or hard to hoop item. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to get it ready and what you need to be able to use your fast frame. All right, so in this portion, I'm going to show you how to set up your fast frame so you can hoop, again, the hard to hoop items like pockets, collars, things like sleeves on shirts. Sometimes they're a little harder to reach, and fast frames will help make your job a lot easier. So, as I did in the previous video, I unscrewed the little bolt here. It was here. Doot, doot, doot. I unscrewed it. And now I'm going to put which piece size I want to use. I'm going to use this one, okay? So all you're going to do is you're going to position it. You'll see these little, these little uh, bolts that are poking out here, okay? And then this one that it goes through. So I'm going to go ahead and position the little bolts over the piece like this, okay? And then I'm going to tighten down my screw. Okay? Now, I'm going to set it up with the right type of backing. For fast frames, you cannot use traditional backing. You're going to need to use a peel and stick backing. Here, I've got a five and a half inch yard roll, okay, which we do offer at Coleman and Company if you need it. The peel and stick backing makes it so that the sticking of the backing is actually what's going to hold your garment in place, okay? So you want to make sure it's nice and secure. Some people, and I highly recommend to even double it up just to make sure it has the support and structure you need since it's not traditional backing. So you just cut this to size. Okay, it looks like all I need is a little bit there. And I need two of those, so I'm just gonna double it up. Ready. All right, now in this portion, we're gonna flip this 
upside down, okay, so that I don't see the bolts, okay? And then the best way, the absolute best way, to be able to get this to peel easier is actually to use a needle. Our trainer here, Michelle, has the perfect suggestion. So this needle will make all the difference. All you're going to do is score the corner, okay? Some people like to make a little X mark, whatever serves you best, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to start the peeling process for us. Voila. Now this is my sticky portion. I'm going to line this up and put this on my actual frame. Stick it straight to the metal, okay? And you want to try to tighten it so it's nice and solid like a drum, like that, okay? And again, we're going to do a second layer for added security. Again, you're going to want to score the corner on the smooth and shiny side of your, of your um, peel and stick backing. A little X is all you need. And we'll start to peel. Like so. And then again, on the back side, make sure you're always on the back st sticking it on. And again, nice and snug. And that's ready. Now we're ready to put it on the garment. Let's see at the machine. All right, now since we've set up the fast frame, here's our setup piece, okay? First, I'm gonna show you Here's the garment. I'm going to go ahead and pretend like we're going to sew up the sleeve, okay? So here's the line on the garment. Literally, where you're placing this is literally like a little glove. Like I said, you can do this with stockings as well. But if you frame exactly the location that you want to have sewn on, okay? And then just simply rub it on here. That's actually attached now to the backing, okay? Because again, it's peel and stick backing. Now to apply this to the machine, you're just going to slide it in like you do an average hoop. Remember to keep your U shape to the right if you're using an Avance. Let's put this on the blue so you can see right there, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and slide this right on your machine as if it were a regular hoop. There you go. As you can see, it's holding the shirt in place, and now we're hooping on a sleeve. It's fitting over the arm where the sewing machine is going to need the clearance space, and it gives you everything you need to be able to use the fast frames. This is how you hoop pockets, hard to hoop items, and stuff like sleeves. <laughs> it's that easy. If you have any questions about fast frames, give us a call at Coleman and Company. We'll make sure to find the right one for you and your machine. Have a great day. Uh -huh. Uh-huh.